Welcome everyone. Welcome to another episode. This is episode eight of Style is Everything. And today I got a fantastic show for you guys. I got a sweet, fantastic show. I got a beautiful couple here, um, Gil and his wife Pam. And we're gonna talk about their journey, some of the things that have got them to the point where they are now, with the plays that they're doing, and just a little bit more. We're gonna, we're gonna dig deeper into their lives. And what is it about them that everybody is just infected by what they put out there when they do them plays? So before we get started, DJ, give me my theme song. <laughs> King Styles is coming to you. So okay. look, so look, guys, look, guys, look, guys, look, I mean, now see, my audience have seen me on this little couch, uh -huh. and I have one person. Okay. But now I got two superstars. <laughs> I got two superstars. I, hey, look, I got the next Tyler Perry. <laughs> All rolled up in one. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna put it out there for real. Because look, look, look what they told me. I have to say this. So they told me before we got started, they told me that this was the first time that they did two plays. Mm -hmm. And folks probably wanted three. They could have did Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But they decided yeah. to do the two. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they also told me, I'm just this this is not the question for them, but I just have to let y'all know this this is what we're talking to here. They also told me that as soon as they say they got something out, folks don't even know what it is. They just show up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're talking about some very, very infective people here, where you just infect people in some kind of way. They just want to come. So when I hear that, when I hear that that's who you are, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to where you are, and I'm excited to where you're going. This is a whole lot that y'all get ready to do. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, I'm, I'm going to let you just go on that, because I see them. You know? <laughs> oh, we good. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's a journey, you know, I mean, you know, you have to enjoy the process uh, when, when you're going through it. Right. You know, you can't rush this process. Right. So, you know, wherever God leading us, Amen. that's where we're going, Amen. you know, that's and that's just how we wow. how we deal with and 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 be patient with this process, because it's a yes. you know, it's a marathon. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I mean, and the thing is, I mean, I'm married, and um, you know, we're in business, and to just, I, I get excited when I see couples, married couples coming together as one, and put your mind together. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times, we as black men, mm -hmm. you know, just we we struggle with that. Yeah. You know, we do. I see a lot of brothers are not able to to be in harmony with their wife. <laughs> you know, and. It's just the way y'all rolling, I'm quite sure. You guys probably got some stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, you, yeah. but you make it work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I used to be called 2%. Two per, two oh. Now yeah. I'm 50 cent. <laughs> yeah. Used cent. to be 2 cent. Now I'm 50 <laughs> cent. Yeah. So. Yeah, she would always give me her 2 cents on whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever I'm doing, writing, working, whatever. Uh -huh. And then... Uh, now she uh, she's a full pledge partner. So so now she uh, wow. yeah now my two cent is yeah. fifty cent. Well, <laughs> but but speaking of that husband and wife thing, I yes. think um uh you know early on when I used to hang out with my wife a lot going out okay I used to have a lot of lot of uh, guys like really mm -hmm. you got your wife in here really mm -hmm. uh stuff like that but. You know, I think we kind of made it cool to yeah. to hang out with the husband and wife hanging out. Yeah. And now I see it more and more, but yeah. not that we started anything, right. but I, it wasn't, you didn't see it as no. much mm -hmm. uh, back when we first started doing that a lot. You know, it, when I hear that, what you all doing is setting up a different level of way we perceive as black men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, we like to think we all that. <laughs> we like to hang with our boys. But when you find someone that they just as happy and comfortable being in the same places mm -hmm. with your wife. Yes. You know, it, it, and it's like the same thing me and my wife do. 
most of the time I can't even do a voucher. Right. You know, I, my, my swag ain't on. It's just like something is missing. But when I got her in my corner, I'm good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I, I know I can I know I can win. Yeah. I know I can make things happen. It's just you got that whole level level of confidence it, with it, that backing. Absolutely. It's uh it's crazy because they're saying the the volume is very low. On from me. Is it me? I don't know. Is it me? I, I know at one point his mic was on the floor. Let it hit me the try floor. For a second. Let's see. Let's try turning some stuff up. Let's see what happens. Is that better? That Somebody better. say yes. Let us know. Could you hear me? Anyone? Is that better? She said no. <laughs> <laughs> she said no. She said no. They're all saying no. Yeah, yeah I don't really know what's up. wrong. My volume is all the way up. They're all saying no. That's just on these lives. I don't know. It's a lot Am of people clicking Christian? in. Can you hear me, Chris? Is this okay. on? Nah, but the phone should. So should it be, oh, this? Should it be a light on there, Gil? No, don't, don't worry about it. No, don't worry about okay. it. Okay. No. okay. I'm talking about the phones itself. The okay. phones itself. All right. She's saying okay. she can't hear you, Charlene. I don't know. Okay. Now use your diaphragm. <laughs> can, can Let's go back to the show. But be good. Let's okay. Be good. Okay. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so we'll what try were to you speak saying? louder. I hear it very well. So what were you saying? We was. I was saying um um a lot of times like you were speaking about the husband and wife yes. thing. Yes. Yes. It's crazy because some of the stuff that um we speak about we actually put in the shows mm. the, the show that we just did literally the wife walked in uh -huh. and her one of her first lines was i should be welcome wherever you are oh wow she says that yes wow and that's something you all and we live that and live that and absolutely yeah that's good that's good yeah. that's good and, and, and the communication yeah. it, it's got to be on point Absolutely. Communication. Now she get on me a lot because mine get a little bit off track. <laughs> you know, I don't like to tell her everything, but like I realize I have to let her know everything I'm doing because she might give me a different perspective on it. Mm -hmm. Right. And I might have needed it before it's too late. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I didn't jump out there. And if I would have backed up a little bit, mm -hmm. let her know what I'm thinking. Right. So she could have maybe guided it this way. Or maybe, like you said, might not be time for that. Right. You know, so, wow. Wow, wow. Yeah. Well, look, I'm going to go on and, and dig into some of my questions just for you guys. Okay. 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 Now, my first one is, with the play having so much success, and we had talked about this prior, you feel this can go on the road? The weekend? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it ready to go on the road? I feel like it can go on the road. I feel like um, once we tighten up a few more things, um, definitely for sure it can go on the road. Um, it's in the talks about it going on the road, and we're also um, it's in the talks about making it a film as well. So, wow. yeah, those are now, two things we're looking into. Now, yes. Back, you, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what's your side. No, no, I, I agree. Want, I agree. No, I hear your side. No, I agree. Um, you know, a lot of times when you when we do a show, we have to sit back look at it again uh -huh. and see where it, it may be some holes or some some the audience might didn't uh understand clearly and yes. and then uh but we think this one has all the elements that it needs right. but sometimes you still got to tighten it up a little bit mm -hmm. now when you take something on rock quite sure you got a lot of pieces that got to be in place mm -hmm. and uh, mapping out where you're going before you get there mm-hmm is that hard to duplicate? It is um, in reference to lo logistics of it. Yes. Especially with some yes. uh, a play like this with 20 people in a cast. Yes. So it's a yeah. lot of people to move around. Yeah. And um, But once you get into the first city okay. and that goes right, then it's just rinse and repeat. Gotcha. Um, but every play still, even if it's the same show, still has its own challenges. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I'm excited. I'm just. And no one show is going to be the same. Yeah. 
No, that's the, that's <laughs> what I was getting at. Because mm -hmm. duplicating, you can't duplicate every detail. No. no. So you have to bring it a different way. So it's, that, it's, it's crazy because you're doing, the show is the same show. Okay. It's people that came to this show twice. Yes. And they saw two different shows. But it's really the same show. Right. You know? Right. Okay. Uh, so it's, um, it's, 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 it's in, it's hard to explain. Mm hmm but I, I say that all the time. Mm -hmm. You can do the same show 10, 10, 10, 10 And 10 different days in audiences a row. is going to receive things different from the, the audience from today is going to receive it different from the audience yesterday. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that means that, Gil, you have to be behind the scenes mm -hmm. and looking at tape and looking at the way this was done and the way this was done. I mean, it, it makes your job almost <laughs> like a. I look at it, I mean, just, just throw it out there. It looked like, like a football game when they lost that game. Mm -hmm. And now you're looking at the tape. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. On the way home, mm -hmm. on the way in, and see just who needed to do what's better and what do I need to do mm -hmm. next time. You know, because you're like behind the scenes. Yeah. Yep. Making things happen and, and tweaking it and whatever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So you have a lot <laughs> to do. Yeah. I, I've, been, um, I've been a part of a lot of other people's productions. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot. From what to do, from what oh, not to do, okay. how we would do it if if we had an opportunity to do it, Good. and um, and Good. that's what we you know take a little bit from each yeah. person, and um, yeah. and and make it ours. Wow! So you had some studying underneath Absolutely. some folks, that but I do have one person I definitely want to speak oh, on. Sure. She's in uh, in Los Angeles. Her name is Brandy Burks Kelsman. Okay, she's a playwright, one of the biggest playwrights in L.A. and um, Huge audience. Whatever she put out, they come out in mm -hmm. droves. Um, and that's kind of where I got my tutelage from. Okay. From her. All right. Uh, okay. She kind of, yeah, taught me the producing game on stage wow. for stage uh, productions. Wow. Now, was that always your plan to get into this? Would you, I mean, was that something you always wanted to do? Or it just, you just, someone like no, myself no, no. just realized I, that you had talent no actually I, I i come from the acting side a lot of people don't know that because oh, okay. early on years ago when i went to montgomery college I, uh that's why i got into it at okay and a lot of productions that i was done then uh i might have been the only black guy huh. so wow uh the people i was hanging out with my friends they weren't into shakespeare and all that <laughs> oh you know? man so uh so I didn't have an opportunity or a platform then to really do my thing for us in a sense. And um, so when I got back into it, mm -hmm. they thought I was just starting. And you already been. But they don't know how to study it. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So that goes to my next question. And everybody has somebody. Who inspired you? People inspire me all the time. From okay. the biggest, the biggest. Okay. Uh, uh, producers to the smallest. Okay. Um, I'm always inspired because I think everybody is special. Okay. And you. I think everybody got a story to tell. So, um, what's my saying all the time? I don't care where I get where the information come from as long as I get it. Got you. It can come from a guy laying outside on the ground. Right. I just need the information. Uh -huh. Wow! 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 That's amazing. So. I tissue out here. Um, do you have now? I'm gonna let you take the floor after this because I know you got some more that I didn't write down, but I know. Go I'm, ahead. I'm no, we good. But this one, this one is for you because I know you guys would probably help the audience because I'm quite sure there's some talent out there. Absolutely. There's some folks that want to get in. They've seen Absolutely. what you're doing. And do you have any advice for them? I mean, someone that's new, someone that's thinking about it, or someone that's been trying, but they don't really know which direction to go in. What could you tell these folks? Um, I'm all about the work. Uh -huh. So, you know, one thing we've, we've pride ourselves on is giving uh, people an opportunity. Right. Especially out of this area, in D.C. in particular, because that's where we're from. We're both from D.C. So we've given uh, a lot of people their first time uh, acting and especially in a, with an audience the size of what we have. Yes. 
even in the play we just did, huh. we had several people had never done it before. The audience wouldn't recognize. So you that. had some new folks, brand oh, new, yeah. brand new. That mm -hmm. they you cast them, absolutely, and they nailed it. They say they want to do it. What what happens is when people say they come up to us all the time, yeah, uh -huh. they and think. then <laughs> when I call, they shocked. But you called. Oh, I called them. Right. I said, didn't you tell me you want to act, right? And mm -hmm. they like, yeah. All right, I got something for you. <laughs> and they like, are you serious? And I'm like, I'm dead serious. Wow. So, yeah, so we pride ourselves on that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, but, I mean, and, and that's inspiring because it is a lot of people out here. Absolutely. There's tons of people out here that want to do it but don't, don't really got no... Um, no way to got go. no direction no to, to, go. to where to where to start. And I would say, um, local theater, mm -hmm. um, um, a lot of independent filmmakers now. Mm -hmm. um, I would start there just to get comfortable mm -hmm. with the process. And so when you get in these bigger situations, you're more comfortable. Do you feel that they all need to start off and go to school? Go to Go to active school, go to play school. I mean, you know, when they get schools and, no. and get a foundation. No. I don't. Do you feel no. that's necessary? I don't. Don't but get me wrong. Me, I think talent is talent. No, don't get me wrong. Education is key. Okay. But I don't think that uh, everybody's path is the same. Okay. So what I believe is sometimes you might don't have the resources or opportunity to go to school. No. But that don't mean you won't be good at this. Right. Gotcha. You know? You just still got to be able to put in the work mm -hmm. to do it. You gotcha. know, you got to work twice as hard now because the people right. you're going against yeah. Yeah. are educated in yeah. this and trained at it. Right. So those are the people that want the job you're trying to get. Right. So, so you got hey, you you to go twice gotta, as hard. You got to make it go a little harder. Mm -hmm. If you won't skip that step. Right. Now, Pam. Yes. Being you the actress, you know, you got that, 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 that gift. You know, you're able to just take anything and make it into a, I mean, a show, and 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 you and they can relate to. I mean, was that hard? Um, it wasn't hard for me. It was more pressure though because my husband. <laughs> I mean, you was you was, was the, the one here. because in the beginning I was just on the sidelines, and um, when he came back, so we lived by coastal for what seven years. Okay. He was in L.A. and I was here. Oh. Um. So when he came back, he was all excited about doing a play. So I was more on the sideline. So I watched the first play. And then the second play, um, we had someone that was supposed to play a certain role. And they couldn't fill the role. But I was the understudy for the role, not thinking I was going to be the one actually being the one to play the role. And um, that person couldn't do it. So that's how I got into the actual um business of acting and then from that point I got a little bug and um I've been on a several things since then and I actually like it but um Did you think about that this was something you wanted to do? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> I didn't. He was just like so he, he, don't fuck he it up. He, <laughs> he like don't make me look bad. <laughs> yeah. so, so he because so he already he, I, from from what I'm hearing he didn't really think at the time that you were the person for that in the beginning. Absolutely no, he didn't. But you showed up. I showed up. He showed up. And he from that up. one role, I, I got a role on TV. Wow. Um, several things I've been doing since then, but um, I actually like it. Not just like it, I love it. But you were studying for a role that you was going to take. So you were practicing. Yes. You was, just, you was just at practice. I was just at practice. And, and, Not and even knowing I was at practice. I was you just, was at practice. I just thought I was feeling it. And it was it. the reason why God hooked it up. He had you sitting there, there relaxed, no pressure because you're practicing. Mm -hmm. And then, bam. The pressure didn't come until I found out I really had to do it. <laughs> then, you had, then, you had, then you had your husband. Yes. Because oh, man. He, wanted, he didn't want people to think that I got the role just because I was his wife. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He yeah. wanted me to wanted show me people favorite. that I could really do it. Well, yeah. you did that. Yeah. yeah, so they could take it serious. You know, I'd yeah. be like, people paying money to come. Right. The they last thing they want to look at is, 
Oh my God, this man got his wife in this joint. Yes. Like, this is, oh yes. man, this is going to be terrible, you know? Yes. That's what so is true. this? No, really. No, really. And you have your reputation. It's crazy because the first play when she was literally in it, I didn't advertise her. She was on no promo, no so they nothing. Didn't know, they didn't know, they she, didn't know she was in it. In it so. No, they didn't know until I stepped out on the stage. Yeah. That first so play I did. You stepped out with nobody know who this person was. No. You <laughs> lit it up. Made my brother here very happy. Yep. <laughs> and, that, and I've been and in every one. I, I think I've been yeah, in all everyone. of them since that's then. That's 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 that. Yeah. Wow. You know, I'm a, um, you know, with her, um, with that being my wife, she really gets, uh, she get a little upper hand because she get to really pick my brain all day. And, um, <laughs> and, but one thing I can say about it, she's committed. Like that's, that's, she's that's super committed man. and that's what it, 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 you have to be. Right. And, um, you know, even if, even if you're in school, if you ain't committed, it ain't going to work out. You still got to be locked in and committed to what you're doing and committed to wanting to learn this and wanting to do this. Like it's several ways, uh, approaches you could take to, right. to be good as an actor. Right. Um, you just got to be committed to at least one of those. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to tell you, I mean, I, I, I listen, I, I read a lot and I listen to what things people say. So mm -hmm. when you said to me, my wife wants to come, that was committed. Right. See, see, so because I asked you, but you said she wants to come. So I already knew yeah, who I was dealing with. We're a team. I already knew. I said, <laughs> no, 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 no. This ain't going to be no solo thing. Yeah, She's yeah. coming on here and she's going to let you right. know that we like this. Yes. You can't break this up. You can't break this up. You can't, you can't, you, you can't come between this. <laughs> and, and I mean, because I smiled when I got the text. I said, okay. Okay, girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing about it is, yeah. um, but we, we like showing people that, you know, that you can be married and still work together and still have a great relationship and a great bond, you know, so. That's good. That's absolutely, good. absolutely. Good, you know, man. it ain't always easy. Mm -mm. No, but, uh, no, no, no. It works out. <laughs> no, it ain't going to be easy. You know, but we are, you know, she is, uh, you know, just as big as a part of this as I am, you know. Wow. She, um. It, it won't work without it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's facts. That's that's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. The team is working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The team is working, and you guys got so much more territory. Oh, we do. Territory to take over. We about, it's about to be about, busy season. about to take over some stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, because what you said to me, and it just, it just, it just still resonating that you said that folks don't even know the play, but it bought tickets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah they, all the they time. They don't even know the play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they just, just know, know they come behind it, mm -hmm. and they buy it. I yep. love it. I love and, uh, it. And it's pressure it. with that though, but yeah, <laughs> Cause we yeah. Bring because we got to bring it every time. A decent show, right? So right. you know, and one thing we 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 aim to do, mm -hmm. we don't aim to write. Oh, this is the best thing ever, and mm -hmm. none of that. Mm -hmm. Our whole approach is we want to make something decent that people can follow and people like and people enjoy because the ultimate judges is the audience yes mm -hmm. so we can yes. say whatever we want about the piece mm -hmm. but the audience is the ones that's going to say yes give it the thumbs up or the thumbs down or decide if right. this is a hit or if, or if it's not right you know you got my attention <laughs> when i was there the wife was i didn't know i didn't know you guys and then i remember she she did mention to me you met them at last thing and then when you hit it, when, when you said what about the clothing thing, yeah. I, said, mm -hmm. I know exactly what that is now. Mm -hmm. Right. But, um, you know, it's like I had no idea where I was going. Yeah. I had no idea. She said, well, you got to go. I said, oh, okay, I'm here. And I'm like, man, I'm looking at the whole thing and the, and the funniness and the, yeah. just the way. I was like, this is, this is really good. And the, cra <laughs> the crazy really thing good. with that last production Writing comedy is the hottest thing ever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's all about timing. It's yeah. all about the cast. Yeah. It's because most comedy is character driven. Yes. It's about the, you know, the character. Yes. It ain't even about what he's saying. It's, just it's about how he's delivering it. Yeah. And, uh, and some stuff you may think funny. Oh, yeah. Funny than nobody else. That happens else. all the time. <laughs> they laugh at stuff that ain't funny. 
and the and stuff, stuff that, you thought was funny. Absolutely. It's, fu it's crazy. Well, me and my wife, we have, this is one gentleman. I don't know what his name is. Wife says, <laughs> this guy is crazy stupid. I don't know the young guy. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Faith Malante. I yeah. mean, it was like, it's like, look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. This guy is funny. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. really, really good. And we never seen him before. Yeah. Never well, he, he he actually plays on Double Cross, one of the series on um, All Black that Gil okay. is one of the directors on that TV show. Oh, okay. yeah. It's okay. going in its fifth season. But is, was it doing comedy, comedy on that? He got his moments, but the, yeah. the show is a drama like, okay. mm -hmm. so he don't really get to go all the way. Yeah. But he does bring the comedic relief yes. to the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, it's a um, yeah, it's a fan that, favorite. It's the number one show on All Black. That brother got that thing nailed. Though. He do. <laughs> he, got really that thing. he got that thing nailed. He, he embodied that character yes. and really he brought it did home. his thing. Mm -hmm. He brought yeah. it home. So mm -hmm. looking like. <laughs> yeah, 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 we had fun. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, that would I, be think fun. The, I think the whole yeah. cast had fun with this. Yeah. We, we couldn't get to rehearsals from laughing. No, like we, oh my God. we laughed so I much. I mean, I'm like, if I'm there rehearsal. on that set, huh? I don't even know if I can get through this. I'm dying laughing. Yeah. I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the people. And you know, we need laughter. Yeah. yeah. Like the end of the show, we we talk about that. We talk about that a lot because it's so much hate. Yeah. And to go out with family, with friends, and see something that's gonna just get some joy. We yeah. need that. There's yeah. just too much hate. Yeah. There's too much this, there's too much that. Right. That is so important right yeah. now. To anything that you can get some joy. Yeah. Especially on the holiday Absolutely. when you see what's going on holiday. We got four, we got two wars going on. Right. During the holiday. And, we, when we and just, there are folks going there, family yeah. members are going there to those countries. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Support them. Yeah. Us. Why are we sitting here? Yeah. So yeah. we we gotta have some laugh about. That's it. why this play the weekend we we decided to to, to take the funny route yes. because we was like people need to laugh you know yes. and just yes. come out and they, people been going through so much yes. you know we wanted right. to, to get you know give them an outlet. Yeah. Right. Just yes. just have, for those two hours you, you know have to have play. something have. to 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 laugh about. I tell you I needed it. I mean I sat that day I was tired and um and I said. I really need to, 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 I need something to prep me. Right. And I didn't know, really know what I was going to. Right. right. Which but is when most I got people there, when they come. Like, oh, man. <laughs> I looked at her and she said, oh. <laughs> Right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited for you guys. I'm very excited. Um, Now, you got any questions for me? Um, I see you're a stylist guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do a little something. Um, you know, it's funny um, because wardrobe yes. is a main, main thing when it comes to productions. Okay. Um, because it helps tell the story you're trying to tell. Mm -hmm. If if I'm trying to tell a story, a particular story, any anyone, yes. um, the the character have to look a certain way, mm -hmm. even for the audience to but the, the believe the start to believe them. Yes. What he looks like. What he looks the like. The first thing they see. What is he wearing? Yep. You know, yep. I can't be betraying this homeless guy and I'm in a thousand dollar suit. Yeah, he suit. need to look home. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're going to be like, uh, this ain't working. It don't fit. You know? And it's funny mm -hmm. you say that because that's the way I style people. Like if I was styling, I already seen two outfits already. Right. I already seen one of the sweaters you got that I had. Okay. I, I thought, it's funny because you had the sweater on, on the show and I right. had wore it. So we just missed each other. Gotcha. Because we'd have been twins. Huh? <laughs> you had that joint on the My McQueen, I had a twin. We were the Queen brothers. Because we get stock in McQueen or something. Because I had it on, you had it on. But what I'm going to say is that when I'm styling folks, it's based on their personalities. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. It's based on what they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, how they carry it. Because mm -hmm. you can't really change anyone. You want to just enhance what they do and right. give them some suggestions to pull off the same way you always right. do. Just you can add this to it. Absolutely. So you know. who's your favorite right now as far as their style? Male and female. Like who would you say like as far as their style, mm -hmm. male and female. Um acting, sports type people no. or people in the business. Just it doesn't matter. Just overall so, uh, somebody that people will know. Like that's in the, the limelight. Um 
I tell you who looks nice all the time, and he's, he works like like me, is Shannon Sharp. He's on okay. he's on Stephen A. Smith show. Suited and right. Right. <laughs> But he he, he it, it just his colors. He's not afraid of color mm -hmm. for dark skin brother. Mm -hmm. It it always fits nice, so I know it's tailored. Everything the colors always work. Um, he's always on point. Okay. Yeah. The fit is right. The colors is right. And that comes to my mind because I look this. I, I said all the time, I'm a sports fan. Okay. So I'm looking at Stephen A. Smith. He okay. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I know Stephen. He can call me. He, he okay. Mm -hmm. But Shannon Shaw, he's on point. Yeah. Okay. He's on point. You know, uh, point. Uh, speaking of that, you know, DC is kind of uh, known for styling. Yes. To be honest, it is. Mm -hmm. um, um, women and men. I used to hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. Like how fly the people are from the city and this, that, and the other. Yeah. Um, but speaking on uh, styling, a lot of people don't know um, that that's a whole nother part of the business mm -hmm. that is, is, is not tapped into the way I think it should be. No, it's not. Because um, for film, TV, stage, it's needed. And a lot of young people... Um, who believe that they want to get in this business and they may not be actors or writers or directors or any right, of that. Right. But, um, that's a whole nother avenue. That's critical yes. Mm -hmm. yes. to the storytelling. Yes. yes. It's yes. critical to the storytelling. If you ain't dressed a certain way, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. I always, I my wife tell you all the time, I always said, give me the opportunity to dress anybody. That's got it going on. Right. That's all right. Right. Now, Believe who would me. that person be? Who would that one person? Who would I would like to yeah, dress? Yeah, who would you like to dress? So, I would like to dress. Who's out there? Who's out there strong? That I always, oh man, because there's so many of them. Right. There's so many of them that are in the line, like, and just to me, they don't do it right. <laughs> uh, uh, just, um, real quick. Well, I'm going to go back to Stephen A. Smith. He's wearing Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. Trust me, he's wearing Tom Ford. That's between five, ten thousand dollars suit. Beautiful fabric, beautiful fabric, but his tail is off. Okay. Whoever's working with him, they haven't fit his body, mm -hmm. so it looks like he got a drape transfer. Tom Ford he got a drape suit on, mm -hmm. gotcha. and the, his shirt is normally the the shirt collar is over top of the tie, which means that the shirt is too big. Oh, okay. Okay, because that collar is not supposed to be over top of the knot. The knot should be spread. The Windsor knot should be here. Your collar should be out here. His collar's in here, but the knot's down there. Mm. So those are just details. Gotcha. And I that believe, only and, probably you and, and, or and, stylist and check this out. I'm going to tell, tell you why they ain't saying them to him. Because they're afraid. Because all he talks about is <laughs> how you can dress. Oh, if I really? got on the show, I'm going to tell you how you don't dress. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe they should have you on there. Because if me and Gil get on it, trust me, trust me, they're going to be mad. Okay. Because we're going to kill it. Pat Riley, Pat Riley was an impeccable dresser. Yeah, he changed the impeccable game. Impeccable dresser. He changed the game. He ne he, the thing is, is that he stayed consistent. Yeah. It didn't change. He's an older man. He's almost 80 years old. And you know what else? Uh, speaking of dressing. Oh, hey, the timeless family on here going, right, going they, ham. They saying all the lines from the play. It's crazy. I see them. They up here cutting up. I'm going downstairs. No, 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 no. I didn't say Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Uh, Y'all hey, crazy. Um, yeah. But what, um, one of the, uh, like, show power, right? Yes. I Big know. show. That's a good show. Did mm -hmm. really well. They did well. Um, one of the things that made that show stand out right off the break was how... Um, ghost was dressed. Ghost was dressed. No, I Ghost think so. was now. Now I'm, I'm gonna tell you. You know, <laughs> Ghost was on point. Yeah. Yes. No, he was on point. It that, fit right. The color was right. It looked good on him. He was on. That sold. Point. That on sold point. the audience. But I'm, that's what I'm, sold the, the styling. I'm coming you know? on there. I'm like, sweetheart, what do you got on day? Right. Oh man. It was Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I don't know who did that. But they nailed but you, it. Yeah. I don't know who that Absolutely. was. Absolutely. But they nailed it. And, and, see, and very rarely. Do I say, oh, they killed it. Yeah. From A to Z. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, A to Z. Even though I'm into story, because yes. I'm a storyteller. Yeah. But every time I watch that show, I said, damn. I don't know who dressing them. I don't know who dressing them. But he's brother. killing them. I mean, there was a little deep. You know? I don't remember, do you remember the time he had on a woven tie? And he had the initials on the tie. 
Mm. Like on the woven top. Mm. Now they didn't have it on the on the cuff of the sleeve. Right. Brother had it on the initial of the top. Ooh -hoo. <laughs> Ooh -hoo. <laughs> it was like butter thing looked so good. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, he killed it. Hey, um Brother killed it. Hey, but speaking of this play, I wanna get back to one thing while wow, they got they got it on my mind now. Yeah. Um we had some some yeah, great, somebody said everybody some, on power was some good talent uh in the show. Um <laughs> Daryl Bradley. Okay. The comedian, Daryl Bradley. Was that the funny older to, gentleman? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I thought yeah. he was very funny. <laughs> he was yes. funny. Yes. We, 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 we noticed him. Yes. 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 He was good. Um Fahim, the okay. uh um Who would play Anthony. Play Anthony, mm -hmm. the guy that uh oh, the, the guys money. were chasing the two yes. guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's something yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. And he mm -hmm. co directed the play. Oh okay. um, um James Jameson play on Double Cross also. Okay. With Faith. Uh, Verl plays on Double Verl Cross. Verl play on Double Cross. Wow. So we had some people from TV on this show. Yeah. Tiffany uh, from the Backyard Tiffany Band. Tiffany from the Backyard Band. Okay. Rita. Extremely Stacey. Good vocalist Stacey. It was so, so many. I mean, it was so many. Like, Lorenzo. Uh, it was. Shaka, Avery. Yes, I wow. mean. Dariki, who did our set. Yes, Dariki. Hey, that's yes. set. She was good. Hey, that's mm -hmm. set. That one part. That one part. But that one part, she nailed it. And you know, yeah. we wrote the play in like two days, and she was like, I want to do the play. So we wrote her in. She, she yes. was good. Yeah, we added that said, part. Okay. So it actually Girlfriend. fit. It, yeah. it worked. Mm -hmm. But, um. Yeah. But, um, we love what we do. Wow. We, uh, we try to support, um, people all the time yeah like we we sometimes when we used to see now people don't start looking forward to we used to do uh i know i should do it particularly like cover my weekend right okay so i'll say this weekend i did uh, this that 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 yeah, number. and saw. people would start calling me like god damn you did all that this weekend right <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I'm like yeah we went to two parties friday <laughs> A, Three parties Saturday, Saturday two right. parties a baby Sunday. shower sunday <laughs> you know it's like because Oh, we get so much support from people. You have to support. We try to get. We it have back. to support yeah, back. We yeah. cannot not show up. We're looking at our, our schedule already this December, and I think there's an event every weekend, at least every Saturday. I know for sure. Yeah. And a mm -hmm. Friday, the whole week, yeah. the whole month of December is already booked. Right. I mean, this show is already booked. Right. We got like one day left that we haven't booked what we're going to do right. for this show. So I'm going to surprise mm. what we're going to do. Right? Nice. I'm going to do a surprise. Mm -hmm. My wife now said, see, I'm thinking I'm on the reality TV right. and I can do the reunion. Right. She said, I can't do the reunion. I said, well, I got a show. She said, you ain't got no damn show. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got eight episodes. Uh, you got, and well. I'm, and, I'm, and look, and I'm telling her, but I want to do the reunion. A lot she of shows said, only have just, eight episodes. Some I shows. said I got I got the eight episode with you, and I want y'all. That's on right. The show. We're gonna sit back here. We're gonna sip our little whatever. We're gonna chill, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do our show. <laughs> so now we're gonna get into I'm gonna get into the questions. Okay. okay. I'm gonna get into questions real quick. Okay. Into questions. Now this is for the audience. Now my audience is getting better. Now I'm gonna let y'all see the questions. Okay. So before I put them out there, so my first question, when I'm I doing my first it. question, is this. My first question is, and this should this should be an easy one. Okay. Okay. So my first question for you guys: What is the clothing brand that Jay Z founded? What's the name of that clothing brand? Everybody should know that. Yeah. Everybody, that should that should be off the break. You should get that one. So do people call in? They they should be like just what you're doing here. So what clothing? What what clothing brand does Jay Z? Did he own? Still what own, clothing still own brand that. did Jay Z own? Does Jay Z own? Hey James, you should know oh, that. Oh, he said it. Rockaway. There we Darryl go. Daryl Bradley. Daryl Bradley got it. He said Rockaway. Okay. Hey Big Daryl. Big Daryl. <laughs> it's the Rock. You got it. Right. Okay. It's the rock. So so Big Daryl. So Big Daryl. You got you got to come on out here to my store at in Akaki. King Styles, and get yourself 50% off for anything you buy in the store. Just come on out here and come to my store, man, and get you some gear, buddy. But we thank you, man. You got it off the break. Yeah. You got it off the break. Now I got now I got another one. I got to know it's going it's this it's going to be a little harder than that one. So I get a little harder. 
<laughs> you know, said, I'm buying my you know, but this, <laughs> but but this, since you since you know a little bit about since you know a little bit about Jay Z, he said he shopping for me. Meal. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the car? What's the name of the car that his wife Beyonce gave him on his forty first birthday? What's the name of that car that his wife gave him on his forty first birthday? It's a bad car. I'm telling you, it's bad. It's a rarity, too. Yeah. And it's very expensive. What's yeah. the name of that car? Anybody I know my know son that. Christian. What's the name though? of the car that Beyonce bought Jay Z for his 41st birthday? No, Daryl. It wasn't a Mercedes. No, no. Come on. <laughs> Fahim got it. Fahim got yeah. it. Fahim. 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 Fahim so, oh, got so, it. so you know about Bugattis and carrying on stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was a Bugatti. Oh, yeah, it was a Bugatti Veyron. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got it. So, look. So he comes to the store. Come on out here to 7041. 7041. 70, it's 41. He says something. Let me mess it up. 7091. 7091. 7091. Akakeet. Right. We right inside the barbershop. We took one half of the barbershop and made it into a fabulous store. Come it's over nice here, man. Y'all y'all can Come find on over here and get your and get your clothing on. On Berry Road. Basically, coming down 210, Indian Head Highway, you make that turn 228, you're right here. It's easy to find. 7091 Berry Road in Akakee, Maryland. Come on over here and yeah, get your discount, out, man. man. Get, get suited and booted, Sweet man, the right way. We're going to take care of you. Sweet number two, y'all. Just let Christian, the manager, know. Well, if I'm in. Daryl is down this know. way, too. So yeah. he's over this way? Yeah, Daryl is. I don't know about Fahim. Fahim so, so check this out. out. Th these questions are going very well, but you guys might get stuck on this one. You might get stuck on this one. I'm back to my old friend, <laughs> Mr. Tom Ford. I'm back to Tom Ford. Okay. Now, this question, I didn't even know at first. So, it's a two-part question. It's about Tom Ford. How did Tom Ford become a billionaire? Stealing. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. He might have. He, he might have been stealing some stuff. Because he's a bad dude. <laughs> no, How did he know. become a billionaire? Oh, wow. Anybody know? I, I know. didn't know that I didn't either. Know that I, I didn't know this. I didn't know that. I didn't know he was a billionaire. So I, was, I didn't know he was a billionaire either. But he did something to get him in that position. Um, Daryl said Gucci. No, he I, passed. I would have thought he, that he too. He passed Gucci, but, yeah. but Gucci ain't rolled that kind of money to him. No, he ain't get it like that. Mm-mm. I'm going to give you a Gucci. little bit more. Yeah. Say, save Gucci. Anybody else? I'm going to give yeah, you a hint. I'm going to give you a hint. It has to do with cosmetic products. It has something to do with cosmetic products. There you go. Fahim just answered it. Fahim what got he it. He sold... Uh, Estee Lauder. There you go. Yeah. Estee Lauder gave Tom Ford a deal. I didn't And he that. took it. Now, the last part to that question is, how much is Tom Ford worth now? Tom Ford. How much Tom is Ford. he worth he, now? He, now? He, he, he hey, balled, I'm telling you. Hey, Tom Ford, we looking for sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> we, gonna, we, need, we need to find out where he lives. We need to find out where Tom lives. I ain't got no way he lives, but he Come on, Tom, get behind this door, door man. He doing it. <laughs> he doing it. So <laughs> I'm going to leave that question for our next show. You guys did very well. I mean, I think you did very well. So you answered some questions quick. Except for the kind of my man, Tom. Always we get hung up oh, on Tom. Oh, hold on, James. What James say? 2.8 billion. Oh, man. James. So James, look, James, James said so all James. these people were in the play. So, so <laughs> James, look, check this out. James, come up here to 7091. And for the rest of the year. Barry Road. You got to say the you whole address. Barry Road, so 791, know. Barry Road, and Akaki. And you're going to get a discount for the rest of the year. Every time you come, you get a discount, 20% discount. All right? Wow. <laughs> they, they got all the questions. They got all the questions. Yeah. Even the hard with my man, with my man, with my man Tom. <laughs> oh, Mike Silver. That's my cousin, Mike. Is that Mike? Wow. That's you, Mike? 2.3 is 2.8, Mike. They already, yeah. they done already answered that joint. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, look, um... 
<laughs> Daryl said chat GPT. What is that? <laughs> oh my God. They say they GPT. So GPT. They, they, they are so silly. They silly. They, they, and this is us been, all day. This has been fun. This is us all day in rehearsal. We this can't get nothing fun. done because they play all day. Hey, um, <laughs> this has been fun. Yeah. This has been Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. So, so be prior to the show, guys, we were talking about a subject that we all have in common. We all have someone who has been dealing with this issue, especially during the holidays, especially being kids in school, especially with this internet, um, this, this, this media stuff that got going on, is, is, is it, it, it becomes a burden in a lot of folks' lives and the children's lives. And um, that subject is, is depression. Mm -hmm. a, lot yes. of, a lot of us, we have family members, we have children, and I didn't realize this, that the kids are suffering so much. Yes. They are. And we just had that conversation, me and Pam and Gil, like, I mean, it starts off right off the break in school. Mm -hmm. These kids are being um, controlled by what they see and what mm -hmm. they don't have or what this person has. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got we got to spread some love. We got to mm -hmm. we got to do some things to to make them feel. I think we deal with a lot of identity problems. Mm hmm. Because they feel if they don't have this, they're not who they're supposed to be or, or what, what yeah. you guys think. I mean, man. I think that, you know, that's been a situation that's been throughout school forever um, in reference to, um, uh, you know, kids not having yes. and, um, and other kids having yes. um, from clothes to... Um, a lot of I, I came up like that, you know. Yeah. I, it it was but rough. We, we changed because when we grew up, it wasn't. It was like Jonan. It wasn't I, necessarily I, no, bullying, no, I, you I know. Think, I and now it's a bullying. Now. Yeah, it's bullying. And I think and, that the I think that the social media aspect of it it made it blew it up. I think because so. now think so kids are younger that's concerned with this stuff. Yeah. In the past. If you were in elementary school, you could care less about yeah. what you wore. Mm -hmm. You might want it to look, but right. it didn't bother you as much. Junior high, high school, yeah, you middle right. school and all that, you kind of you start starting to pay attention a little more. Right. But now it's even elementary yes. children yes. that's on social media that's yeah. uh, uh, now. I think it's a lot of comparing and yes. the pressure, the peer pressure you know, is crazy, and they don't realize that the mental health. Like, the peer pressure, it's just Absolutely. so many things combined. Like, I look at social media as, you know, we use it for marketing to get the word out for different stuff, but I literally look at it like, I don't take it serious. Nothing on it. Yeah. Right. right. Everything, right. I look at everything and laugh. A lot. Like you move on. Yeah. Because I know it's not real. It's, not it's real. fake. No. Because you're showing me a thinking. little inch of what you want me to they see. No. And then I know so many people personally that if you looked at their IG or whatever, right. oh man, it looked like they live in the life of their Ooh. dreams I see until you that. go to the house and they sad yep. and they struggling yep. and they concerned and all that. Up. Absolutely. We, everyone is trying to keep up. Everyone wants to be something that they're not. And Why like I tell that? my family, I mean, That's not I'm going to be though. me. I'm going to be me. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I, I don't change. It wouldn't matter if my area code or my bank account check. I'm still gonna be me. Right. That ain't gonna change. But I can do more for others. I, I think right. that would be the only thing. I think the mm -hmm. I think the problem I, I think the problem is that children are seeing adults fall into this space where they're comparing yes. themselves to others yes. or trying to keep up with keep others up. Yeah. and they are following suit. Yeah. Versus, you know, I could care goddamn less about yeah what anybody else is doing. Right. And because what's for them is for them and what's for us is for go. us. Yours is coming. And 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 it doesn't concern me. Like my one of my quotes, I don't know where I heard this from, but all popcorn go into grease at the same time. Mm. But it all don't pop at the same time. Yeah. So yeah. just cause you popped already don't mean that I'm not. That's right. Just like came out. I'm still in that same green. I love it. I love that. You one. know? I'm at put that. So one eventually on. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm a pop too. You ain't, you ain't crazy. <laughs> nah. You're, yeah, actually I did. Can I put it on my shirt? Just send me twenty dollars a week. Just twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, that's good stuff. Yeah. I mean and and, 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 and another thing that um, me and the wife came up with called don't hate. 
Mm -hmm. We feel that just, and I say it sometimes on my page, find someone that you haven't called, find someone that you haven't talked to in a long time. Just tell them you love them. Don't, mm -hmm. There's no, no conversation. I love you. Mm -hmm. You have no idea how much that would resonate someone in life, especially yeah. someone, because you don't know who's been looking up to you a long time. That's true. And then for you to call, mm -hmm. for you, when you guys to call, it made their day. Mm -hmm. I call people all the time. That made their day. You know, I got folks that I I still been con just 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 from my buddy George in 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 Arizona, in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I just called, hey George, what's going on? I love you, bro. And he called me up on the airport, getting ready to go to the, to the what that Ohio State game. I don't know what that was coming up last past weekend, but just because that's my boy. Mm -hmm. You know, we 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 go back to junior high school. Mm -hmm. You know, and we try to and my wife helped that out, trying to keep us. I Keep just, us together. Yeah. I just got a phone call on my way here. Uh, somebody just saying, what's up? Yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm. On our way before I pull that. We have to. Yes, it is. Way. You should. I think it is important to um, check up on each other. Yeah. Even if it is, to just say hi. Because I, I, and I say this a lot. I say, you know what? I don't like the fact that we get together. For Funerals. That's it. You know. I ain't seen you. So I'm basing on, man, I ain't seen you in a long time. Yeah, because the last funeral you seen me do. Yeah. You know, in between, <laughs> you know where I live. I haven't moved. Right. On them some saying, but and we haven't took the chance. Even be so home. busy with their everyday yeah. lives. You know, like their day to day. They don't that's... stop to really yeah. sit down and check on one another. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we that's that's another thing with our stage productions. They kind of call it the uh, reunion. Because so many people run into each other there yes. that they haven't seen in years wow. or throughout the year. They actually be like, I'm looking forward to yeah. seeing everybody back together. And, That's you good. know, stuff That's like good. that. That's but um, I'm a big, if I know you personally, right. I might go on social media and say, hey, congrats or whatever for whatever you're doing. Right. Because people sometimes want that validation. Yeah. Um, but I like to call you. If I know you. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm going to call you. I don't want, I mean, and, and I get on folks about this that's close. I don't want to hear about my birthday on Facebook. I know. Yes. It's, so, it's say, not personal. Don't it's like, say, oh, happy birthday. Call but me. You, but you're my nephew. Right. But I'm your uncle. Mm -hmm. right. Um. What? what, what is, Absolutely. Call me. Because I expect a phone call. I don't know from, what it from is from about you. social I'm gonna media. I'm going to tell you what's crazy everybody now. Everybody wants everything yeah. on social media. I'm going to tell you what's crazy now. I've had people say things like, I've read people posts and stuff like that, like, don't uh, praise me in private. Praise me in public. Oh, that's how they, that's how they relate They got to it backwards. Wow. You know what I mean? I want you to call me. Yes. I don't care if you don't say nothing I about wanna me on that. I want to see your name so I can... Now I got you. I got you. you can, Call me. You've given me that so kind of stupid. attention. <laughs> and it feels good to have that type of attention yeah. from someone you love. Mm -hmm. was, I mean, you don't care about the people. I mean, we care about everybody. But that that close. It don't take nothing for people have. to just say something on social yeah. media. But to actually for me to call somebody mm -hmm. and. Yeah. Just check on them, or yeah. even like you said, wish you a happy birthday oh. or a happy holiday. Mm -hmm. That's that means more to me than a, a text. Absolutely. You know what's crazy? Um, but I, I don't know. I'm old school. This so. last production we just did, um, I met. I was at a. Uh, I don't really know what you call it when somebody becomes an apostle, right? That's church. Yes. Um, yes. One of the pastors in there announced that I was in the business. Mm -hmm. So of course everybody who wanna be in the business, oh this is perfect time. Let yeah, me yeah, let me yeah. talk to this guy, guy right? You, you. So this this guy and his mom came up to me and they say, really wanna do it, he ain't really had an opportunity. He, ooh, whoa, whoa. Right. The play was already cast though. Right. And we normally have closed rehearsals. Gotcha. But something told me, uh, let me I'm gonna let him come. Mm -hmm. Okay. They were coming all the way from Falls Church, Virginia. Beating us to rehearsals. Oh, Isaac and his mom, yeah. <laughs> and and his mom said that um, you know, he don't really he don't get these type of opportunities. Wow. Wow. So, um it's who we are. Right. And um and the guy um 
it meant a lot to him and him and his family, you know. Um, and we was happy that we were able to, to do that for him. Mm -hmm. Because, believe it or not, when I was young, it was a lot of stuff I wanted to do that they wouldn't let me in. And, um, and so I said when I got, yeah, when I got in a position, yes. I would never do that to anybody else. I want people to always feel included. That's a good way to be. Always. It's a good way to be. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good way to be. Mm -hmm. Always helping each other. Because so many people help, 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 help us. That's why we try to oh hire people that's in the community. Yes. Um, you know, that's in from this area, the DMV area. Um, and anybody who come up to us and ask us for an opportunity, we try our best to make sure they get it. Right. That's so good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Big, small, you. whatever. Yeah, Thank this you. is fun. Thank you, young lady. <laughs> Thank the you. The actress, the superstar. <laughs> We had them in the house, y'all. We thank you guys. You guys, any questions for us before we close? Any questions for Pam? Any questions for my brother Gil? Any questions at all? <laughs> Don't give up. That's, that, that's important. Do Don't not give up. give up. You're a star no matter where you are. Keep pushing. <laughs> Keep pushing. Don't give up. Trust me. None, none going on, guys. No questions for okay. us. All right. Okay. Hey, um, right now we got uh, let me give y'all a little bit of some updates on some things. Um, we got season five of Double Cross coming out in uh, January. Um, on All Black Network. Um, proud to be a part of that show. Chris and Howard Gibson gave me an opportunity to be on that show. Uh to direct on that TV show. It's a big, big, big deal. It's uh, five seasons. That ain't normal. Uh, most most TV shows don't make it past one season. We we in our fifth season with that show. Wow. And it's coming out in January. Yeah. Wow. Got a new mm -hmm. show coming out um, through them Gibsons also. Can't really speak on that. I want to jump the gun on that, but yeah. Uh, now look, I'm interested. Just, just let me know when you need someone to gotcha. help out with down. It's okay. a done deal. No, I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely. Ready. Now I want y'all to know this. We're definitely. I got. Work. I have some holiday holiday sales going on. Okay. Holiday sales on my line. They got some the nice King clothes line. in here, y'all. Uh, the wife's women's selection. We got sales going on that'll blow your mind. So you go if you get up here, you get over here to seventy ninety one Berry Road. I'm going to take care of you. All you got to do is come on over to the store, and it's a wrap. All right, y'all. Hey, the weekend. Timeless entertainment, y'all. That's what's up.